Some of our water supply grid projects involve the construction of storage tanks. These are situated according to the local landscape and our plans for the network. The first stage of work involves fencing off an area of land and improving local road connections. Topsoil is removed and stored on site to be used for landscaping once the work is done. Offices, parking and a storage area are set up for use throughout the construction period. An excavator digs to the required depth and soil is stockpiled nearby. Concrete is cast to form the foundations of the tank. The base slab is reinforced and surrounded with a formwork of timber. To form the base slab, concrete is pumped in and power floated to leave a smooth surface. The base is cast as a solid unit to ensure there are no joints. The walls of the tank are reinforced. The formwork ensures the concrete sets in the right position. The same process is used to construct the roof. Once the concrete is set, the formwork is removed. Pipework is connected to the tank and drainage is installed around the base. The tank is filled and left for a week while checks are made on the water level. The external walls are covered with a waterproof membrane and the area is backfilled and compacted. The roof is covered with more membrane and fitted with hatch covers. The surrounding ground is raised to reach the top of the tank. The tank is cleaned and disinfected, ready to be connected to the supply network. Steps to the roof, any required kiosks and a vehicle access track are constructed. A security fence is installed around the perimeter of the site. Trees, shrubs and hedgerows are planted as required. The offices, stores and compound are removed. Finally, the stored topsoil is spread over the site and the whole area is then grass seeded. The site is now operational and ready for use.